use that cruise missile in the United States. We can only use the land-based cruise missile in Europe. We fought World War I in Europe. Uh, we fought World War II in Europe. And most of the Americans would like to fight World War III in Europe if we have to fight another world war. For example, there are contingency plans in the NATO uh, doctrine to fire a nuclear weapon for demonstrative purposes, to demonstrate to the other side that they are exceeding the limits of toleration in the conventional area. Am I blue? You be too. If each plan with your man At the Dugway Proving Ground, Utah, the Air Force is conducting flight tests of the BGM-109 Tomahawk ground-launched cruise missile, or Glickam. Glickams are launched from transporters capable of off-road movement and quick deployment to remote locations. Four transporter erector launchers, each with four missiles, and two launch control centers will constitute an Air Force tactical Glickam unit. The missile is propelled from the launch tube by a solid fuel boost motor. Seconds after launch, the boost engine is jettisoned. The wings, tail fins, and engine intake extend. And the turbofan engine starts. The 1,500-mile range Glickam is equipped with a highly advanced terrain contour matching guidance system, which compares a radar picture of the flight path with previously stored data to guide it to the target. All primary test objectives, including launch from a transporter erector launcher, transition from boost to cruise flight, separation of the boost engine, and sustained cruise flight were met. Glickham procurement will begin in fiscal year 1981, and initial operational capability is scheduled for December 1983. is at its launch site, normally hidden in a wood, Cruise Watch observes its location and its movements night and day, maintaining contact by CB radio until it returns. The convoy is to the left hand side of the truck, the cops facing uh, north west, and then the Land Rover, the two Land Rovers are over on the track just up there, about where that aircraft is now.
This convoy returning in 1984 was escorted by what now seems to be very few police indeed. Compare this with the level of police activity as Cruz returns late in 1985. Long before it arrives, the main trunk road is closed just south of Greenham Common in both directions. Now the convoy arrives, escorted by dozens of white vans. As the police make their way back home, it could never be claimed that Cruz has simply melted into the countryside. 